Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel DevTown. So guys, as in the previous video, I have told you how you can insert a image in the Excel. So now in this today's video, guys, I will tell you how you can insert the shape in the Excel. Okay. So guys, this video will be a very interesting video. Okay. And I recommend all of you to watch this video till the end. So you never miss any important topic. Okay. In the between. So guys, the thing is very simple. So first of all, let uh, us uh, talk about how, why the shapes are used in the Excel. Okay, guys. So guys, in many times in the data, it is very important for us to denote data with a special symbol. Okay. For suppose for loss and uh, profit, we have to show the arrow. It is going up or it is going down. Okay, guys. So that's why we use shape in the excel and inserting the shape in the excel is guys very much simple so you just have to open your home in this home ribbon you will see uh this uh, wait a second where is yeah sorry guys we have to go on the insert in this insert you will see a option here okay illustrations in this illustration you will see the air option which is called shapes so guys from here you can select the number of shapes for suppose an example i was to uh, use this arrow okay so i can use this arrow okay as you can see and we can use it between the data to denote anything we want okay and apart from it there are number of shapes guys every shapes you think it is present in the excel and apart from it there are the lines also okay for example uh, you can use the lines in this type see suppose we have to make a chart here so you can definitely make a chart in very easy way okay and what things are more there there are the lines there are the rectangles basic shapes like triangle okay and the plus sign smiley block arrow equation shapes okay and flow chart so this is how guys you can insert a shape in the excel okay i hope guys that this, this thing is very much clear to you there is no doubt and still if there is any issue you can definitely ask me in the ch chat box or a comment box and guys please subscribe to our channel devtown like this video and hit the bell icon so you never miss any update from the devtown thank you very much guys
हे गाइज हाउ आर यू आई होप यू आर डूइंग वेल इन यूर लाइफ एंड आई वेलकम यू बैक टू डेव टाउन सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोना सी वॉट आर एक्सप्रेशन एंड वॉट आर स्टेट्समेंट स्टेटमेंट्स इन जावा स्क्रिप्ट सो दिस विल बी दिस वीडियो विल बी मोर फोकस्ड ऑन थेरी पार्ट अपार फ्रॉम लाइक अपार्ट फ्रॉम कोडिंग सो वी विल बी कोडिंग बट नॉट एज मच रिक्वायर्ड ओके सो दिस इज अ वेरी थेरी सेशन going to be so let us talk about what are expressions so as you can see on screen so any unit of code that can be evaluated to a value is an expression so let me explain this thing with the help of vs code to you guys so what it is saying that any unit code that can be evaluated so first of all let me just show you uh, something by example so as you as you can see on screen we are on vs code in index.js page See, so expression on line number seven, as you can see, what is this? So th this is a, a expression only. So any line or any unit of code that resolves to some uh, result, let's say it is giving me a unit value of zero. This uh, this x will give me a zero. How? Because we have uh, given the value over here. Okay. So we have uh, declared and initialized that x with zero value. So that's why. The second thing is this is. uh this 3 plus x is also going to give us some result it is going to give me 3 because my x is value having the value of 0 and of course line number 9 is also a expression it's a function expression actually if you if you want to let's say if you want to uh denote uh depend on various kind of expression so to give you account of some different types of arith like expression so first one we have is arithmetic expression right arithmetic expression is the first kind of expressions and what are these expressions basically mean so arithmetic expressions so they are uh, evaluated to a numeric value so let's say we have an example of 10 10 and semicolon so that's a very simple expression in arithmetic or numeric expression you can say and other arithmetic expression is let's say we are doing some arithmetic operations over this so let's say we i am doing this 10 plus 13 so it will give me some result that is going to be 23 okay so that's uh, these are the examples of some arithmetic expression after that we have some string expression okay string expressions for example in string expressions we have let's say hello world we can write okay whatever i am writing in paren this is that uh, javascript will know that uh, this is a string only okay so that's the string expressions we can say and let's see if i wanted to add two things then i can simply write this thing like hello plus world right so this is the another expression okay so this uh, this are uh, these are all the examples of string expression after that let's say we have logical operation like logical operation no logical it's a logical expression only So what does this mean? So let's say I am comparing two things. Let's say ten greater than nine. I am doing, and we can okay on the next line we need to write this. Let's say we are writing this. Nine is less than eight. Okay. Let's say we can write nine is less than equal to zero. Okay. So these are all operations belong to this logical expression. So these are the logical expressions. Okay, so these if you count this any single line, so this is a single line of expressions that we see, single line of unit code, right? So that belongs to this logical expression. So another one we have in expression is primary expression. Primary expression. So primary expression means what? So let's say uh, we have one uh, value string value. So in primary expression we we can have multiple expressions. Let's say. first value is our string ss actually it's a, a spelling of string only right we are giving semicolon so that becomes expression right let's say we have numeric expression so this primary ex expression actually consist of this logical string arithmetic expressions only nothing else right so that uh, that's the meaning of this primary expression only so the primary expressions are basically they refers to the stand alone expressions such as literal values or certain keywords let's say or variable values right and another one we have is uh, left hand side expressions so let's say if i am not not using any 
left hand it's a uh, left hand side expression uh, yeah and see I will show you how this works so left hand side expression basically means they are also known as L values or left hand side values okay so these expressions are those that can appear on the left side of an assignment of ex of an assignment expression so let's say uh, the examples that I can give you is let's say i equal to 10 so this is what left side uh, expression you can say left hand side expression or left side expression you can say right and let's say if we are uh, doing something like this this array of 0 is equal to 20 so this is definitely gonna uh, uh, give us something right so that's why it is known as left hand side ex uh, expressions after that we have this assignment assignment expressions that, that are so same as this 10t equal to 10 so like something like this right and after that we have the second topic of today is our statements so what are these statements so as you can see on screen that's the basic definition that statement is an instruction to perform specific action okay so like i say previously if i uh let's see if i show you the above uh, from line number two to four we have statements so statement is something statement is something that is used to perform some specific action so on line number two you can see that this x variable is getting initialized with the value of zero okay so that's the specific action which is performing over here and this function is used to calculate uh, sum of two numbers depending on the expression we pass this statement will evaluate that what the sum, what is the sum of two numbers okay so th this is called uh, this is called uh, statements only okay so uh, for a statement to work let's say i am like doing let's say first comment out these lines and let us see whether this thing works or not which thing this so i am just adding console.log and i am adding this function thing i am saying this thing and sorry let us see whether it works or not so i am simply running this thing and see i am getting 3 in the output 2 plus 1 is of course 3 okay so this expression is what we are doing in this expression we are just invoking the function so what is invoking and what are what are these parameters arguments we will see that in our upcoming videos so don't worry about that things let us just understand the difference between expression and statement okay so that uh, i think you have got the idea what are these uh, statements and all that so if you can see on the line number four, I have written one example for if and else statements. So why this is why this is called statement because it is performing certain action. If true, then then only it is giving us console dot log high. It is if the if my any value is stream true, then only it is giving me high. So that is the very basic example of expression statements I can say. Or other than this, we have conditional statement. So we can also uh, like include conditions over here, right? So if true, so true is what true is a statement you can say. And condition if you want to do like if uh, let's say if my ten is greater than zero, then print me this thing console dot log high. Let us see whether it is giving me or not. See it is giving me high, right? Because ten is greater than zero. So this is also another statement inside this if else statement we have another conditional statement inside this so these are uh, conditional statements so in the upcoming videos you are going to see the for loops so in for loops also we have some certain statements so i'm going to tell you the statements well while we are learning for loops so don't worry about that so these are very simple things so this is a function so function is also a statement so function can be expression or function can be a statement you can say okay so in this line this line number 13 we are calling it as a function expression right and this is what function statement or function uh, uh, we can say that this is performing certain tasks certain actions so that is why it is called statement so that is the basic difference between expressions and functions i hope you guys are able to know the basic difference of expressions and functions 
so with that i will take your leave and if you are new to the channel then do subscribe the channel and if you are watching this content for the first time do share this content with your friends and let them know that this amazing con content is live on our channel so with that i will see you guys in next video until then goodbye